What's up, people? This your boy, Blizzy B. Paco, and this is Hood Politics. And we are brought to you by At Stereotype Radio, baby. Yeah, we got a lot to going on tonight, man. Hopefully, everybody is chilling. It snowed over the weekend. Shout out to my people over there, overseas, my Canada folks, my people out Hong Kong, and whoever else in here, you already know. We vibing tonight, baby. Shout out to my open vibe listeners. Man, I mean, listen, man. We we in here, we open vibe, playing the list all night. We ain't doing top top five no more. We doing the whole damn open vibe list. So if you you an open viber and you a player, make sure you send this, share this link right here. Share this link. Because, look, you already know about the song. How I mean people in this song, man, that's 100 people to the song. So you, got to, you, got to, you got to tune in, baby. Tune in. Tune in. Share this. If you try, if you you could go from zero to 1,000 real quick, you know what I'm saying? Shit, maybe 10,000, maybe 100,000. You got to lock in right here, baby. Listen, we got to talk about it, man. It's been a sh- crazy beginning of 2024 it's like every 2023 i was talking about mamba vision but listen man 2024 they kicked in the door and waved in the 4-4 like fuck it cat williams come in waving the pistol around shooting there he came out like Pac hit him up fuck them all you know um but the night we gonna tune into he, he he's definitely in our topics. You know Cat Cat is the biggest topic right now, so you know he he's gonna get some shine tonight. But uh, we gonna start it off first with my man DJ Academics. We talked about him last week where he you know he he he's getting school uh 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 uh, uh sued for a uh, 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 sexual altercation that allegedly took place at his home. Um. You know, it was his, come to find out, the girl was his ex-girlfriend. So, it's, it's like, it gets even crazier. I think I might have I might have uh, dipped into that last week. But, uh, yeah, if I didn't dip into the last week or if I did, look, I'm letting you know right now, it was the ex that did him in, you know. Uh, but now, don't you know that ex, that same ex that's, that's claiming rape and that's suing him right now? Skirting for for five hundred thousand a half, a half a ticket. I'm like, a half a ticket? Come on, act, act. You got to do better. You be out here groupie chasing, and when you when when you get into groupie chasing and club popping, that's what comes with the game. You 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 you. You meet these tricks and these 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 and these, and these, and these thoughts, and and they go right in, and, and and be trying to get your pockets. You know what I'm saying? Um. So that's why tonight's main topic is drum roll, please. Tonight's main topic is. Ain't nobody gonna give you a handout, baby. Nobody gave you a handout. Nobody's gonna give you nothing. Nobody's not gonna give you 50 cent. You, nobody's not gonna give you 75, not even a dollar. You got to get up and get it. You got to get up and strive. And whatever that you're trying to strive to get, you got to put the working to get it. You got to, you, listen, if you trying to be a cook, you can't just start off being a cook. You got to, you got to go to culinary school. You got to learn something, you know, even if you, even if you're not trying to be a cook, if you're trying to be a rapper, you got to, you got to study the greats and, 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 and study the game and learn the business. So, Ain't nobody gonna give you no handout. Stop, stop. Don't don't be out there let the, expecting the world to give you something. Nobody's not gonna give you nothing at all. They're gonna look at you like you's a grown woman. You's a grown man. What do you what do you what do you, what do you, what do you out here? What you, what, you, what, you, what, you, what you think? Like I'm gonna work hard to give you something? I'm gonna work hard to give you everything I got. I'm already giving the government something. So now I gotta what what you part of the government? 
I got it. What the, you, 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 you want you, you you one of my kids? Like, come on, a handout. You don't want no handout anyway. When you get a handout, it don't even really last long because you didn't work hard for it. You just sat there on the couch and and, and, and couch munched and, and plotted on somebody else's situation for you to come up for that quick little moment. You don't even got no long term plans when you waiting up waiting looking for a fucking handout because you too busy worried about getting something from somebody else. Oh, I'm gonna go get this. I'm gonna go get that from that person. If you gonna go get something, go get some knowledge from somebody to learn how to the you know I'm saying, get your shit popping. That's what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that life was like one of my topics, one of my, my hood politics type, acquiring your fucking self. Yeah, acquire your fucking self too. But tonight, fuck all that. We talk about no fucking handouts. Stop asking, stop begging. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get this far by begging a motherfucker. I, I, it was night, days and nights I was putting in work, fucking grinding, motherfucking thinking shit wasn't going to go right. When you go, when you go the hard way, and it's not even necessarily the hard way, it's the way, I call it the way you need to go. You want to know why I say it's the way you need to go? Because it's the way you need to go because you need to, everything has a motherfucking lesson in it. Everything has a viable lesson, whether it's good or bad. You know, you can't just expect, you know, you're going to open up a business, you know what I'm saying, and then bang, you be rich tomorrow. It don't fucking work like that. You got to go fucking put the work in like anybody else. You know what I'm saying? You can't just sit around thinking you're going to get a fucking handout. You know, nobody likes a big and ass motherfucker. Unless they are big and motherfucker, and you, you motherfuckers sitting right next to each other, big and together. So that's why I, I started the motherfucking shit off with DJ Academics. I jumped right into the gun with no condom. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying about no like handouts. You got, you got these, you know, you got motherfucking. It's not even just the thought, because I'm, I'm not a biased motherfucker. It's not about just the thought. You got niggas out here plotting too. Niggas and bitches. So it's like, you 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 see how academics got burnt, and he's cool with it. He cool with it. You could go check out the motherfucking live on YouTube. Go check out him talking about it. And he's he 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 rather for her to for her to burn him than than than, than another ass nigga, or or, or or nigga that's going to run down. He rather for her to go ahead and say burn. He rather for chicks to take his money than some nut ass niggas. And I mean. To each his own. That's what he feel, you know. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, academics, I want to tell you something. And I want to tell you something right here on Hood Politics. I've been watching you. I've been watching you for a while. I've been watching you since like uh, 2014, maybe 15, right? And you definitely is a gullible dude. Since you got that money, you don't know how to act. Matter of fact, you getting you you gaining more weight. You know what I'm saying? You need to reevaluate yourself. You know how all eyes on me, academics, I'm talking to you. Yeah, act. Cause I fuck with you. I'm a fan too. I ain't a hater. Cause I watch your shows. But academics, check this out, player. Listen. You need to go back to the basics, to the motherfucking drawing board, right? You was a gullible motherfucking. Ever since you got with 6ix9ine, he fucked you up mentally. You out here, y'all out here talk, fake, faking the funk like y'all really best friends. Y'all niggas ain't best friends. Y'all just two Joe ass niggas. Two Joe ass individuals. You know what I'm saying? And two motherfuckers that stayed in the house all fucking day. You need to go back to we want the old academics back. The one that did that was doing his YouTube videos for free basically and had to get himself up, get himself built himself up. We want that originality of academic. We don't want that Hollywood. You turn in Hollywood, act. And this is me coming as a fan, man. You 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 turn in Hollywood on us. And I don't appreciate it. 
you 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 getting caught up in shit. You gang warring with rappers like you a rapper. You scared to say something about saucy Santana. That shit looking sus. You got a lot going on, man, and they hitting you back to back. And don't try to play it off. You you, you should have left Carisha the fuck alone when when Carisha. When you was fucking with Carisha, you should have just let that shit be dead. No. You had, they got it in for you. Yeah, that's what they, if you want to, whatever the fuck you want to call them, the Illuminati, the motherfucking, the, the cancel me out motherfuckers, whatever you want to call them, I don't give a fuck. The cult gang, I don't care. Billy and Bob beats the bats, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Once you start a gang war and go gang war with other artists, you put a target on yourself as as a reporter. You could have just stayed it. You don't see no fucking newscasters arguing with some other motherfuckers and gang warring with them. You know? So you as a as 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 a as a reporter to the people, you don't need to argue, you don't need to argue. You just report the news and, and keep it pumping. Don't gang war with them, because then you're going to have shit like Saucy Tantana coming at you. And then you being scared, bitching. Fuck Saucy Tantana. Whatever the fuck his name is, I don't even know. I said Tantana. Whatever the fuck his name is, I don't know his name, but fuck him. Fuck you scared of him for? Talk your shit like you talk to them females. You know what I'm saying? Talk heavy. Don't be a, don't, don't be a bird-ass nigga now when another motherfucker... When a, when a, when a motherfucker when a, 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 when a gip bull come at you, and I ain't got nothing against the gay people, or the homosexuals, or LGBTQ, or whatever the fuck you, whatever it is, I don't have nothing that I don't know what it is, but it, whatever it is, I don't have nothing to get y'all. But you ain't gonna come to me on some rah rah shit and don't expect to not to get checked. I don't give a fuck if you're gay, straight, happy, sad, mad. Emo music. I don't give a fuck what it is. You come to Blizzy B Paco, you gonna get checked right then and there. I don't give a fuck what you is. White, black, Hispanic, Chinese. Your title or who the fuck you is as a person don't make me stop from you coming at me. You can't let nobody run over you. But apparently you like getting ran over. Cause you let you, you let this thotty steal your mo- holy how, how the fuck academic holy you let the thotty steal your fuck five five hundred fucking k from you and then you said you was cool with it you need to re- re- reacquire you need to require yourself to you need to you, yeah you need to take a vacation go to Palm not even Palm Beach you need to go somewhere where you isolate yourself you don't need to see no thotties no baddies no nothing. Fall back, rewire your fucking brain, and and, and and stop talking about your all the money you got. You ain't gotta talk about all the money you got. You getting money. You getting more. You embarrassing rappers, artists out here. For one, soon as you get in an argument, the first thing you say is, "I'm making more money than you." Okay, so. You're academics. You you better be making more money. You're a reporter. You ain't in the game, and the way the game is is, is right now is just is just crazy. But that's another topic. But academics, you're supposed to be a supporter of the community. Don't be a hater, because that's what it's looking like. You a hater, and I know you ain't a hater, but you looking like a hater. 